Shalom, shalom, peace, peace. The narcissist's job is to destroy your soul. The narcissist's job is to destroy your soul, to crush your spirit. That demon that has taken up residence in that vessel, their sole objective is to destroy your soul and crush your spirit. Until that narcissist, until that person realize that they are possessed with that demon, you cannot trust them. Until that person, until that narcissist realize that they are possessed with that demon, you cannot trust them. Forget who you knew them as. Forget the good that you try to see in them. As long as they are possessed with that demon, you cannot trust them. Until they recognize and take accountability that, hey, something is wrong with me. This entity has taken over my vessel. Until they recognize that they are possessed by that demon, until they become repent, re until they repent and rebuke that demon and cast that demon out of them until they seek the most high and get that demon out of them, that person is not to be trusted at all because the sole purpose of that narcissist demon that has taken over that vessel, their sole purpose is to destroy your soul and crush your spirit. They are always on attack. They are always seeking out new ways to gain access to you, to drain you of your energy. They want to off you. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. This is spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare. Stop just looking at it. Oh, this is my family member. Oh, this is somebody who, who I've known all these years. Start looking at it for what it is. This person is demonically possessed. And they are not to be trusted until that spirit, until that demon is casted out of them. They are not to be trusted because the sole purpose of that demon that has taken over that vessel, the sole purpose is to crush your spirit and destroy your soul. That person has to become aware that the devil is using them and operating in them. That person has to become aware. That person has to seek repentance. That person has to rebuke that spirit out of them. And until that spirit is casted out of them, until that demon is destroyed and casted out of that vessel, that person is not to be trusted. This is not, we're not wrestling with flesh and blood. This is spiritual warfare. That person has to become aware that they are demonically possessed. They are possessed with a demon that person has to become aware of that. That demon that is that has taken over that vessel, sole purpose is to destroy your soul and crush your spirit. And they will not stop until the job is done. 
they will not stop. That demon will not stop until the job is done. The person who is hosting that demon has to become aware that they are demonically possessed. And until they cast that demon out of them, until you begin to see true repentance in that person, that person is not to be trusted. Keep your guard up. See things for what it is. See it for what it is. It's a hard truth, but the truth is still the truth. Hit the like, share this message. Share this message. People are consistently allowing the narcissist back into their life. Unknowingly. Unknowingly. Because they do not know that this is spiritual warfare. They're not wrestling against the flesh. They're not wrestling with that individual. They're wrestling with that demon. They're wrestling with that demon that that person is hosting. Hit the like, hit the share. Make sure you subscribe. As long as that narcissist is hosting that demon, until they cast that demon out, until they show signs of true repentance, they are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. Shalom.